When Yi Chan finally learns Chung Ah's name, he discovers she is sick and needs to be taken to the hospital. At the same time, Eun Kyle is also admitted to the hospital due to an electric shock. However, Yi Chan's attention is solely on Chung Ah, and he doesn't notice Eun Kyle. Yi Chan waits for Chung Ah at the hospital until she wakes up. When she does, she finds out that it was Yi Chan who brought her there. Since it's getting late, Yi Chan decides to take her home. On their way home, Yi Chan clears up the misunderstandings between them and proposes that they become friends. Chung Ah is happy to be friends with Yi Chan, especially now that he knows her name. The next day, they grow closer as they have lunch together. During this time, Yi Chan invites her to their school festival. Thus, Yi Chan and Chung Ah become closer. However, Yi Chan is curious about what Eun Kyle had told him earlier regarding Chung Ah. He wanted to ask Eun Kyle, but Eun Kyle hasn't returned yet. He wasn't aware that Eun Kyle had been hospitalized due to an electric shock sustained during the competition. As the school festival approaches, they need to find Eun Kyle so they can rehearse. Yet, Yi Chan believed that Eun Kyle would return, so he initially chose not to be overly concerned. But as the days passed and he neither heard nor saw any sign of Eun Kyle, Yi Chan began to worry and decided to make flyers to search for him. In the meantime, Eun Kyle is still under treatment at the hospital. However, Eun Kyle will recover and resume his studies at So One Arts High School. It's evident when he communicates with Chung Ah using sign language. This suggests he has come to understand more about his mother. On another note, Sek Yong has decided to search for Eun Kyle for confirmation on a matter. It seems she got his information from Yi Chan about Eun Kyle's sudden appearance and his apparent knowledge about him. From this, Sek Yong has deduced that, like her, Eun Kyle might have traveled back in time. In my opinion, the Sek Yong who returned to Korea in 1995 isn't the real Sek Yong, but rather her daughter from 2023. She has a different demeanor compared to the Sek Yong who left for the US, and she doesn't seem to be fully aware of the situation between Sek Yong and Yi Chan in 1995. Additionally, she was seen answering a call at a phone booth marked with a broken sign. She informed the caller that she was doing fine and asked them never to call her again. The person who called her must be the master who sent Eun Kyle to 1995. That could explain why she told Eun Kyle that her story seemed unrealistic. She might have encountered the master when she was contemplating running away from home and potentially harming herself. She's overwhelmed by the stress from her mother's obsession with her. That's why, upon arriving in 1995, she feels she can do as she pleases. I'm eager to see the moment Sek Yong and Eun Kyle discover each other's secrets, especially since Sek Yong will be resuming her studies at the same school. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.